Hi everyone, in this video, let's talk about how to integrate email verification in your packet-based database in our DroidScript application. We have here opened our Wi-Fi ID and I have already opened packet-based native application which we have set up in our previous video. I highly recommend that you watch the previous videos in this series so that you can go along with the topic that we have previously discussed. In the previous video, we talk about how to upload and download a file from packet based database in our droid script application so this is the code for that tutorial i will just clean this code now we have only these lines of codes at the top uh, we've loaded the packet based javascript sdk and also here uh, inside this function on start we initialize our packet based database in this video i will use the cloud extension in the wi-fi ide here this uh cloud icon right here so if you click this one it will open this dashboard so we have the files we have also the apps tab and we also have this database tab. The files is the file server that we have used previously. We also have the, this apps. Uh, we also used this in our previous videos. And here the last one is the UI dashboard for the packet based database. So here we have the users, users collection. We also have this post collection. What we are going to do in our application is, in our application we will create a user record in our users collection and then if the creation is successful we will then send an email verification into that email so that the users can verify the email that they use to sign up into our droid script applications first we will set up our smtp server in our packet based database so that we can successfully send email verifications to our users so let's go to this cloud extension and navigate here in the database uh, tab we are now here in the collections and navigate here in this settings this orange icon here and click this mail settings first in the application we have the application name right here you can change this name application name into whatever name you want and click this mail settings and here we will set up our smtp server to send verification emails password reset or confirmation emails here in my mail settings we have a sender name you can change this to whatever name you want so i just changed mine into sample cloud support and the sender email address will be for mine i'll just change this into my email address and then uh, here use is mtp mail server this is the recommended way to set up email service in our packet based database so just toggle this one and then it will open this other settings that we need to set up so first the SMTP server host, you can use any SMTP server if you want. So there are a lot of SMTP mail server providers out there. Of course, most of them has extra price that you need to pay in order to use their service. But in this video, uh, I will show you how to set up a SMTP server using Google's Gmail into our packet-based database. This is very easy and Gmail is free as long as you have a Google account. So here, the SMTP server host just set this one into smtp.jmail.com and port is 587 and username is your Google account or your Gmail account. So I will just use uh, hamakjumar uh, at jmail.com. So this is my email account that I will be using to send verification emails to my users. And the password here is not the password that you use to log in your Google account, but rather an app password that you need to request from Google to be used in old applications that don't support uh, two-factor authentication. So currently, Google uses two-factor authentication to log in in its services. But here in uh, packet base, we cannot use uh, two-factor authentication and therefore we need to request an app password to be used in our applications so that we can use the Google service. And here in packet base, we will use the SMTP mail server that uses our Gmail account. Okay, to create an app password, open a new tab here and then navigate into my account that google.com forward slash app passwords and navigate into that URL. We will first log in into our account. Okay, so after you successfully log in into your account, it will open this app passwords. I have here my first app password, uh, DS Registry Email Support, which uh, I use to verify emails in DS Registry, which will be released together with DroidScript version 3. And to create a new app specific pas password, Type a name for it below. So let's create our app password, sample cloud support, and then create. It will generate an app password which is a six, 16 characters. Copy this one and it is a good idea to uh, save this safely in your computer. Okay, so I'll just copy this one. And in our password, just paste the app password that we have copied and then save changes. Now we have successfully set up 
SMTP mail server in our database dashboard. We can send a test email to check if our uh, SMTP mail server is working fine. Send test email. Okay, so we'll send a verification temp a verification template or verification email into my email. So I will just use my email. Okay, so send. Okay, it successfully sent a test email. So if we go to our email, okay, jmail.com. Okay, now we have received our verification email. So if we open this one, we have, hello, thank you for joining us at, this is the project name, which I said you can change it to the project name that you like. Click on the button below to verify your email. So we have uh, this button. If the user click this button, it will open a new tab and then verify the email. We can also we can also change this template for verification email. Just go to your uh, verification email template. This one, open this one, and you can change this into something. So instead of using a variable, you can set this into an actual uh, name of the project. Here we also have the action URL. Just leave it as it is, and then we have here the body of our email verification. Okay, you can change this one, guys. Make sure to not edit this action URL of this uh, verify button. Uh, this is very important. You also have this uh, template for password reset, okay, and also this confirm email change uh, email template. Okay, so since we have already set up our SMTP mail server, we can go now to our application and try to create a user in our user's collection. And if that uh, user has successfully created, we can then send an email verification to that user and display a text that says an email verification has been sent to their account. Here, I'll just uh, initialize my data or user data. Okay, we will have an email, of course. Uh, this is, uh, I will just set mine for now. Uh, we also have that password. Okay, and password confirm to successfully add this into our collection. Okay, so this is enough to create a user into our user's collection. And then we can use a pb.collection. Okay, users that create okay data since this is an asynchronous function i can listen to then okay i will say record so we will send a verification email here in this uh then callback and then if there's an error we'll just console.log.error okay okay so if the record is created we will send a verification email so to send a verification email uh let's go let's op let's go first to the packet base slash uh, js sdk in github and navigate here at the bottom in this uh auth handlers so if you are if you are here at the top just click this menu here and navigate here at the bottom in the services and auth handlers okay so here at the auth handlers uh, we will use this email verification okay so pb.collection our collection id or name and that that request verification passing the email and our options okay so uh, let's copy this one and go back in our uh, application in the Wi-Fi IDE. Okay, we'll just paste this and then change this collection ID into users, the same as this uh, users collection here. And then requ request verification. Okay, I will just pass this data.email. Okay, data.email and then, okay, remove these options for now. Okay, so since this is an asynchronous function, we can also listen to that then and that catch callback. That then I'll just I'll just console that log an email has been sent. Okay, in a real world scenario, you may want to use a pop up or alert that tells the user that an email verification has been sent and to check their inbox to verify their email account. Okay, for now we'll just console that log that an email has been sent, and if there's an error, I'll just catch that error and console that log that error. Let's try to run this one. Okay, so here in our console, it says that an email has been sent. It should be an email has been sent. But anyway, we have successfully sent our email verification. If we go to our uh, uh, email, our Gmail, if we open our email, so we have here at the top, uh, verify, your, uh, verify your email. So thank you for joining us at uh, Acme. Click on the button below to verify your email address. So as I have said before, you can change this uh, application name right here. And then before we click this verify button, let's go first into our database. Uh, here in the collections, click this one. And here we have added our uh, email, which is not verified. So if you hover this uh, little icon here, it says that unverified. So to verify this one, uh, the user will click this verify 
button, it will open a new tab. But here, we have an error because we didn't change our localhost 8090 or our URL. So go back in our UI dashboard, click again in the settings. The application URL, you need to change this one into your Droid Script Cloud. So I will just copy my Droid Script Cloud URL, this one. So I'll just copy this one and go to the Cloud UI dashboard and paste this link right here, okay? I just removed the forward slash at the end. Save changes. I'll just go to our collections and I'll just remove this uh, email right here. Delete. Okay. Going back into our application, I'll just run this again. Okay, so in our debug tab, it says an email has been sent. If we go to our dashboard, reload this one, we have here our uh, user account. It is unverified for now. I will go back to our Gmail. If we reload this one, we have here our latest verification email. And then if you click this verify button, and now successfully verified an email address. So we have successfully verified an email address. If we go back to our uh, database, to our database dashboard, reload this user's collection, you will now see that uh, the icon here changed into green and it says now verified. So we have successfully verified a user account in our database collection or in our pocket-based database using our Droid Script application. Okay, so that's all in this video. Tune in for more upcoming videos in this Droid Script Cloud Services video tutorial series. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.